Hey everybody, Kieran Murray from Let's Talk About Northwest Wines with my lovely, talented, beautiful, sexy, gorgeous co-host, Miss Sherry Murray. <laughs> I'm kind of digging this introduction. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Kind of huh? getting used to Maybe it. Maybe I'm gonna have you start hmm. doing the introductions from. No, I really. So you say no. stuff about me. It's okay. I could be sexy, gorgeous, talented, all that stuff. Well, you Handsome. are. It's just, I mean, it's a given. So by having you say it, it just means more. Welcome to our world, folks. All right. <laughs> so welcome to another edition of Bottom of the Bottle. So here's what we do. We drink wine and we talk about wineries, basically. So here's the normal protocol is we grab a bottle from our, one of our favorite wineries. And we drink the top half of the bottle, which is a glass each. And then we drink the bottom half of the bottle and come on to a camera with all of you and talk about our great experiences at that particular winery. Things are a little bit different tonight. So normally we do these videos like once every couple weeks because we get behind and everything else. And we've had so many great experiences. We're like, we're just getting so far behind and making sure people know. About we just can't keep up with the great experiences that we have. Yeah, it's just crazy. So here's the deal. Um, we're recording multiple videos tonight. This is Friday, January 8th. It is my Again. birthday. I told Sherry, I said, we're going to just record multiple videos. So here's the deal. To make them all look special, we're changing our clothes every time so we can make it look like uh, we're just, we're, you know, we're in some special whatever. We're also changing the background. So maybe I've worn a hat. Maybe Sherry's had her hair up. Who knows? Uh, but we're just letting you know that, um, yeah, we're not. This isn't like every week, every two weeks. We're just doing it all one right after the other. Drinking good wine, having a good time. So... For whatever reason that you feel that they need to know that, I guess it's just I, to clear your conscience. But... I do. I felt bad like I was deceiving them. That it was. It's a conscience okay. clear. I'm going to have some pepper salami with this wine. Go ahead and talk a little bit. Do whatever you want. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So, tonight, the wine that we have, or actually the winery that we have that we're going to talk about, is Canvas Back. And our first experience with Canvas Back was out in Walla Walla. What? <laughs> um, it was out in Walla Walla. We were doing a uh, wine weekend. We spent a couple of days out there, and it was really our first time that we got to spend a lot of time in Walla Walla. It's usually we, we would go, go for a day trip. And come back really fast. And come back. Like we're staying like in the Tri-Cities or something. Exactly. So you got to all do it in one day. So what was really cool about this is with our group, we actually posted, we're going to Walla Walla, where should we go? And so because of you guys, we went and visited Canvas Back. That's and actually because of Brianna Kushner that we went, because she, she responded. This is true. So she responded and said, you should come visit me at Canvas Back. So that's the cool part about this, let's talk about the Northwest Wines Facebook group, is you can post there, let's say you're going to go wine tasting in Chelan or Walla Walla or Red Mountain or anywhere in the Pacific Northwest, in Oregon, say, um, I'm going to go wine tasting. Where should we go? And you're going to get a whole bunch of responses at this point because we're coming upon almost 4,000 members. That's amazing. And we just started this group August 1st. And that's actually, here's, here's the cool part is, that is the reason why we started the group was back in the late July, beginning of August, um, Sherry and I were on a trip in our um, 40 foot fifth wheel. We were out in, um, in a, well, we started off because we, we did like a 10 day trip oh. where we started out in the Tri Cities in Kennewick and went and visited Red Mountain. And we went and did, visited Prosser and we went and visited, we did, we did Walla Walla then, I think, for a quick day. A quick day yeah. And then we decided to extend our trip. We went down to McMinnville so we could um, drink some wine in Oregon. We, oh my gosh, we fell in love with some Pinots down there that were. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. But on that trip, we said we should create a Facebook group maybe and invite some people so we can say, well, where should we go next? Because there's like 1,700 wineries, I think, just between Washington and Oregon. It doesn't even count like Idaho, right? But um, so we wanted those recommendations. So we thought maybe we'd get 10, 20 people who would join our group so we could just kind of compare notes and know where to go. And it just blew up. And we had no idea it would grow like it did. So, you know, almost, it'll be 4,000 within the next, probably within the next week. Yeah. But that's exactly how we found uh, the wineries we went to in Walla Walla. I, mean, I think, if I remember. Well, wine tasting is an, it's, in, it's intimidating. If you've never done mm. it before, you don't know what to experience or what to expect. Um, you don't know what you're walking in 
Keep talking. What you're walking into, what you're walking in from. Um, I'm pouring wine. Oh my goodness. Um, and so it's it's really amazing to be able to have other people who have experienced it and want to share those experiences with you um, because it gives you a great um, a great starting point instead of just kind of walking around or trying to figure it out or googling it or or yeah. whatever. Um, so this this group has actually become really beneficial not even not even just to us but, for a lot but of to people. a lot of people. Yeah. And the and there's for us there's two types of, of referrals. It'll be so if we post in there and people say, Oh, well, I went to so and so, you should go there. That's one because someone had a great experience. Yep. The other one that's even more powerful is when you have somebody in the industry um, that says, Hey, come visit our winery, we'd love to have you. And that happens a lot. So a lot of different people are posting in the group saying, Where should we go? So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna Kind of go off on the side here, and I'm going to give the winery owners a big tip here. Huge tip, right? When you see someone post in the group, um, you and your staff that are also in the group, if your staff and your team are not in the group, you should be looking for this. You should add them in the group, invite them in the group, we'll approve them. But you guys should be looking for this. So when people come in there and they ask, um, we're going to go to Walla Walla for the weekend, where should we go? you and your staff should be making those recommendations. You should be reaching out saying, hey, I work at Canvasback, just like Brianna Kushner did, right? Um, I work here, you should come here. Um, and so the places we went in Walla Walla, a lot of them were recommendations from other people who weren't in the industry. Brianna was one of the only ones in the industry that reached out and said, you should come here. And so we said, yep, we're gonna go. So we went, and so here's the, here's the difference in that. When you get there, you have somebody that's waiting for you. Now, I, I know that sometimes um, we might get some, some treatment that we shouldn't get because we have this group with a lot of people in it. If, if you're a winery owner and you make everybody people feel this way, you're gonna be miles and miles ahead. So if somebody says, where should we go? And you say you should come here, and then when they get there, you're waiting for them. You know they're coming. You 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 already have this common background of this group, right? Mm -hmm. You can work on making them feel like a million bucks, just like Brianna did with us. So when we got to Canvas back, Brianna was there to greet us. She was waiting for us. It was we had this common background of this of this group, and oh my gosh, we felt like just awesome, just like giants, right? Then she took us out. She seated us. the The place that they have is phenomenal. But then she turns over to to Tim, who was doing the tasting, and Tim did a phenomenal job. Um, but when we, when it was all said and done, we joined that club, right? Mm -hmm. And had Brianna not reached out to us, I don't think we would have joined that club. And that's a big difference is if you're a winery owner and you get your team of people to invite people to your winery via this club, when they're looking for it, um, you, have higher, higher, higher chances than buying wine from you and even more importantly, joining your club. So if you're a winery owner, I hope you're listening to that because uh, Brianna reached out and did exactly um, the thing that makes the biggest difference, right? So we got to go and may, and have a phenomenal time. I'm gonna let you talk about the grounds and stuff, but the thing I wanna talk about with Brianna that for me was awesome was we got to reach out, we got to meet her when we got there, we got to uh, hang out with Tim, who did a great job on the whole um, uh, tasting. And then when we were all done, we were asking Brianna for recommendations on where to eat locally. And if there's other wineries that were open later versus the just the daytime. And um, her and Tim gave us the recommendations to this uh, Mexican place. It was phenomenal. Oh, my gosh. It was so good. But here was the cool part. Which... Without the recommendation, we would we have never not, stopped. We wouldn't have known where to go. So the so the Mexican restaurant got the business, mm -hmm. and now we promote that to other people because Brianna. Um, but the, here's the cool part: is when she gave us the recommendation of another place um, that was just up the road from them, another winery that was open till like seven. She said, "Hey, um, I get off at five. If you're going to go there." Um, I could call my significant other and we could meet you there and we could have wine together. And we were like, we kind of looked at each other like, heck yeah. 
for real? We're like, you, you would go have wine with us, right? And so we did. We went, we went and ate. And then we went back to this other winery that Brianna didn't work at, but gave a referral to, and then joined us in person. And it was just, uh, it was one of the best nights. Mm -hmm. And the weather was, it was really it was nice, cold. but it was windy. Yeah, it was really windy. It was really just windy, windy but it was the, the temperature was really great. But man, it overlooked this <laughs> site in Walla Walla with unbelievable sunset. Um, it was a super winery. But just to be able to hang out with her and her significant other, and um, that I, I believe um, she announced on Facebook that they got engaged. By the way, no, -uh. I believe so. Shut up. I, um, if they didn't, it's going to look bad. It's going to put a lot of pressure on him now, right? But I think so. I now I have I, to go back and search I, it. I, I thought I, either that or someone said congratulations on your engagement, and maybe I they just were figured it was congratulations on not being sick anymore because they both got horribly yeah, sick. Yeah, but. Um, that was just a great experience that not only would she treat us so well at the winery, but she would also go with us to another winery after hours and continue drinking wine and just have a great time getting to know each other. We're hoping we can get the two of them to come over here to the west side of the mountains and stay with us at our house and we can drink some wine and we can sit in our hot tub and we can barbecue, we can do whatever. But those are the experiences we like. Those are the, those are the um, special times that we just, we just go goo-goo over. Um, so if you get a chance, you should go see him. But I want to turn it back to you so you can talk about what happened while we were there with just yeah. the, the outside. Even even though you couldn't taste inside, and the inside was was cool. I mean, we could look at it, but they have this outside grounds that are just phenomenal. They have the, the fire pits and stuff. And She's like, which fire pit would you like to see yeah. at? And we were like, there's, not, there's more than one. It's not just options. one, it's multiple. And it, yeah, it was, it was super cool. And... So we went out there and it was, it was, it was chilly. It was cold. And I'm not one that likes to be cold at all. Um, and so she brought me out these two big, thick, fuzzy, soft, amazing blankets. And she's like, here, this will be great. And we'll get you right, you know, get your wine coming out. And so the wine was coming and I'm like all snuggled up in these blankets and the fires going. I mean, the ambiance was fantastic. I mean, it was a great property. It was just everything about it. But I fell in love with not only the wine, but I fell in love with these damn blankets. They were amazing. So I'm I'm sitting there and I'm asking Brianna. I'm like, um, can I take this with me? Can I buy it from you? <laughs> can I, I mean, steal it? can I steal it? How does how does this work? And she's like, well, um, I think they're UGG blankets. And I'm like, got it. So I get on my phone. I ordered four of those damn things from the store, and they were while we were sitting there, yeah, drinking, while we were wine. Sitting there drinking wine. And so I have these big, fluffy, amazing blankets. Sure. You, yeah, you will never get cold when you're wrapped up in these things. They're awesome. And so even though matter, the matter wind, fact, this one, this one, I don't know if you noticed the, the. So this one you can see in a picture. That we put so Sherry's been on the the cover of the Let's Talk About North Coast Wines, and then she's outside and she's wrapped up in this blanket. Well, not this one, but one that looks well, just one like that it. Looks like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we have we haven't even taken two of them out, but she has one in the front room. I've got one over here on the couch. They are the they are the best blankets ever, and. But it's just you know wine. You never, you never know where your wine story is gonna go. Um, with, with this tasting, we created two friends. I got new blankets. We joined a new wine club that has fabulous wines that we enjoy to drink, you know? So you just, you just never know. All I know is that if we don't go wine tasting, if we didn't get those, um, if we didn't get those recommendations, if Brianna wouldn't have reached out to us on the questions that we posted about going to Walla Walla. None of these experiences would have happened. Um, and I'm just, I'm super, super grateful that we, we had the ability um, to, to go and to visit and to learn and to become friends and, and all of that stuff. And, and like Karen was saying, I'm, I'm really looking forward to where this friendship and, and everything else is going to go. Cause so many things start with wine and we just absolutely love it. And our canvas back experience was amazing. A plus, yeah. yeah. And the cool part about it is 
So we obviously, we joined the club. We brought home, um, case. I, I think, yeah, I think a case of canvas back wine. <laughs> and so when we're in our house and we're drinking canvas back wine, obviously we're thinking about canvas back. And but, we nuggle up in our blankets. But we're also thinking about uh, Brianna. Yeah. And then, but their thing is, no matter what wine you're drinking, or even if we're not drinking wine, if we're snuggled up in these blankets, we're thinking about canvas back and Brianna. And so um, that was just a magical experience. If you're if you're a, if you're a winery owner, um, you should you should really sit down with your staff and just talk about magical experiences. A lot of you are really really good at creating them, but um, you just never know who's going to be in your tasting room, your winery, whenever that is, and how you're going to be able to impact them. So um, everything has the potential of being a magical moment. You just never know it. And they can be as small as a blanket. And what's magical <laughs> for one person may right. not be magical for somebody right. else. I'm sure when Brianna brought out blankets, she probably wasn't thinking that that was a magical moment for me. But it really, truly was. So she just, I mean, seriously, A+. plus. She did a fabulous, fabulous job. I'm looking around now in our living room, and they are the only blankets in our living room. We have no other blankets in our living room except... Because these the blankets are badass. They're the best. Oh, I love them. And they're, and they're <laughs> the blankets we got while we were sitting outside at the fire pit, drinking canvas back wine, talking to Brianna Kushner. And we have a lot of blankets in our house because I'm kind of a blanket freak. They're all put away. <laughs> These are the only ones that are out. <laughs> so right now, Brandon's watching going, I wonder what else I can sell. You know? I got to sell them something I can I make don't a know. commission on. I don't know. Figure it out. Because yep. what may not be important to you is very much maybe yep. important to me. Absolutely. So, um, wow, what a fun experience that was. That was that fun. Was, that was, I want to go I, back and do it again, like now. So we're gonna, No, yeah. I don't because it's really freaking it's cold, cold over there. It's so, like snowy cold. So we'll be oh, posting no. again when we get back to Walla Walla. Hopefully... Hopefully the weather's going to open up. I don't know, maybe, maybe February or March. I don't know, but oh, even even if it's not too warm, that. we're gonna we're gonna make multiple trips because, well, the big thing is we want to come and make connections. We just want to meet yeah. people, so we love drinking wine. But it's really about for us, it's where you drink the wine and who you drink the wine with. So we could be drinking wine in the snow, which is kind of chilly, but it's kind of cool at the same time. But the most special thing is, who are we sitting with? And so we might be sitting with someone we've already met that's real special, or it might be someone we've never met yet. But for us, it's where are we drinking the wine? Who are we drinking it with? And that's why we love going to the different wineries, because until you get there, you don't know where you're going to be drinking the wine and who you're going to be drinking it with. And then you get there, and then the magic just happens, just like, you know, Brianna did for us. So... What a cool thing. What a cool what a cool experience we all get to have in this whole wine thing. Um, if you get a chance to go to Walla Walla, look Canvas back up. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to meet Brianna. Hopefully, you'll be able to meet Tim. Tell him that we sent you guys. Um, uh, they have just a, an array of just different fabulous wines. We're so blessed in Washington and Oregon and Pacific Northwest with, with different winemakers that make really fabulous and different wines that are just so outrageously good and it's so great to be able to drink their wine especially after you've been at their winery and it just it transforms you so when we drink this canvas back we are literally transformed in our minds well, triggers back, a memory yeah back to that fire pit sitting out there snuggled up in these blankets and just going you know what it's chilly it's the wind is blowing and this is flipping awesome and pandemic be damned, really. You know, what? And Absolutely. it just makes, the pandemic makes no difference. Um, you still have opportunities to get out there. As a consumer, you still have opportunities to get out there and meet awesome people, meet awesome people in the wineries, making the wine, own the wineries, work in the tasting rooms. Um, you can have an awesome chance to meet people in the tasting rooms who are consumers just like you. We've made oh, phenomenal we've made friends. Oh, friends that way. Um, but then the other thing is if you're uh, a winery owner, winemaker, tasting room manager, you have an awesome opportunity to welcome people into your sphere and create magical moments. And boy, I hope we get to keep making uh, and, and experiencing some magical moments with a lot of other wineries. We sure have made some unbelievable moments 
so far in just a very, very short time. And so um, that's why we're doing these videos. We just want you to know about all the special times we've had. One of those is with Canvas Back Wine and in particular, Brianna Kushner, because she's awesome. And so, um, um, Brianna, when you see this video, tell Tim we said hello as well, because he was awesome. I remember him talking to about uh, talking to us about growing his own wines and, and uh, growing his own grapes, making his own wine. What an awesome conversation. What a great guy. So just tell him we said hello. So when you get to Walla Walla, go see Canvas Back. Go see Brianna. Tell her we said hello. Um, they deserve your business. They deserve uh, for you to come out and check them out and, and have a tasting. And uh, for you to be able to get a chance to meet Brianna and Tim, um, they're great people. You're going to love them. So with that, cheers. Cheers. We love you guys. Have a great night. And uh, hopefully we'll see you all real soon. Bye, guys.